typically a senior dog is seven years and up. Smaller dogs tend to live longer. The smaller dogs these days are living to be 17, 18, old, and even older than that. Bigger dogs tend to live 12, 13, 14. We've had some large breed dogs that live to be 15 or 16. So it depends upon the size and the breed. But just like people, um, there's biological age and chronological age. And so um, a lot of dogs these days who are seniors, who are really well taken care of, they're getting good nutrition, they're getting supplements, good medical care, good exercise. They can be active and happy and healthy into their teens. There are a lot of tools and, and devices that you can use to make a senior dog's life easier. Um, there are ramps to get into cars, uh, ramps and stairs to get up to a bed or up to a couch. Um, there are help me up harnesses. There's a harness like the one that Marshall is wearing so that we can grab onto that and help him up little steps. Um, sometimes we help them up the curb or up into the car. Sometimes uh, senior dogs have difficult time on slippery surfaces or there, there are some different products out there available, little booties, and plastic little things that go on their claws and you can put some friction stuff on their, um, their pads, all kinds of things to help them from slipping. And um, when the dogs get older and they start to have arthritis and joint problems, they shouldn't be jumping. Um, up off of furniture, up into cars, out of cars. So the more you can help them with that, it's gonna preserve their joints. I think um, that everyone should be prepared for a period of adjustment, not only for the dog, but for yourself. You're creating a brand new routine in your life. And we like to say here, it's the rule of threes. So it's gonna take your animal three days to kind of get used to its new environment, three weeks to get used to you, and three months to fully blossom into the dog that is going to, they're gonna be for the rest of their lives. Even for me, we recently adopted a dog about a year ago, and every day he gets more and more confident. He was a confident dog to begin with, but it's just like any relationship, even if you fall in love right away, you continue to grow together and it's really incredible. So when you first bring a dog into your home, some of them are gonna be more independent and confident. Some are gonna be a little more nervous. Um, hand feeding a dog can help them to bond with you easier. Um, de definitely if you have other dogs in the home who are calm, friendly dogs, that can help a dog kind of know, okay, everything's going to be okay and they have some camaraderie there. And um, get, taking some time before you leave them alone for long stretches, you do want to get the dog confident enough that they can be left home alone, but you know, maybe start with 15 minutes, see how they do, and then a half hour, and then an hour, and then, then longer stretches, but really easing into you don't want to just bring them home and leave them for eight hours the first day when they don't know where they are. Mm -hmm.